Well, there has been backlash over Australian tennis champion Margaret Court being included on the Australia Day Honours list. She is set to receive Australia's highest civilian honour when she will be made a companion in the General Division of the Order of Australia for her performance as a tennis player. She's recently been criticised for her outspoken views on same-sex marriage and transgender people. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews says Ms Court shouldn't be awarded the honour. I don't believe that she has views that accord with the vast majority of people across our nation that see people particularly from the LGBTIQ community as equal and deserving of dignity, respect and safety. I don't believe she shares those views and I don't believe she should be honoured because of that. You know, I'm like quite sick of talking about that person every summer. We finish up having this discussion in one form or another every single summer. Margaret Court won 24 Grand Slam singles and was the first woman during the Open era to complete a singles Grand Slam achieved by winning all four major tournaments. Prime Minister Scott Morrison has refused to weigh in on the matter. Well, I, I can't comment on a, an award that is done through an independent process that hasn't been announced or I have no official knowledge of those things. This is a completely independent separate process and those announcements will be made on the appropriate day. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese has taken a different approach, saying Margaret Court has already been honoured for her tennis prowess. She's already an officer of the Order of Australia. I think it's clear for any, everyone to see that making her a companion of the Order of Australia has nothing to do with tennis.